Good morning, YouTubers. Uh, I just got a new uh, pure sine wave inverter, and right now it's running the the dryer, just right there through that cable. And the dryer is putting a load of 140 watts and it's about 11 and a half amps which that dryer is and this thing is taking it pretty good the bottom reading is the battery reading it's not that accurate for some reason because I have 12.4 volts here and 12.5 from the charge controller. Right now coming into the charge controller is about 60 volts. I rewired my panels up there. I'm getting about 80 two volts in ideal condition 1.6 amps coming in converted to 7.2 amps at the highest amperage today is a little cloudy overcast was 21 amps see if I can see the yeah go back to the yeah so his charge controller doing a good job it's multiplying the input amps by four times or almost So anyways, this is a ramp sound pure sine wave inverter, it's called Sunray 3000. I connected it to my battery bank, let me get a light so I can show you. those connectors and I put a 200 amp breaker on the positive side of the battery the other thing I did I removed the old inverter from here and added four more batteries so I got uh, 14 batteries so far <clears throat> sorry I have a sore throat what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna connect the amp meter to show you how many amps are drawn from the batteries is zero to DC okay we have the light Okay, we have about 30 amps, 29 amps. Now it went up to 70 amps. And we have 530 watts. I guess the dryer is cycling. Now it dropped down again to under on 10 and the amp is dropped down to about 29 I connected this inverter to about 2000 watts 
inside to my stereo system, the two flat panels, and the computer. And it went to about 1700 watts. And it, it worked okay. And the good thing about this inverter is it has a soft start, so you won't trigger itself at the big loads to go off because some inverters think that the batteries are low and they shut themselves down at the startup. This has a soft start so gradually lets the power go up so the batteries uh, so I'm sorry so you won't see the batteries as low and shut itself down. up to 16 and a half amps now. Going to 18 amps. And it's in an MPPT bulk mode. It goes to 19, 19.2, 19.3. There's a big fan in the back. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it cycles off and on. It hasn't been on constantly. There you go, it stopped. They're still at about 29 amps. There goes the fan again. And the temperature here is 82 degrees, humidity 44%. So far it's been working good. And hopefully it lasts long. Been over a month and a half now. And almost every weekend we use it to run the washer or dryer. And so far, whatever I throwed at it, it took it, it works good. Even I connected the, the garage door opener, and it works okay. It's got four outlets and a hard wire connector there. A USB connector and the remote connector off and on switch. I bolted it to the table here so it's, it's solid. It won't go anywhere. I've been busy with my models working on my planes and um, right now I'm putting the battery together for it. And hopefully I'll make a video of it flying once it's finished. And here goes the fan again. Now we are up to 20 amps on the charge control. We have five amps coming in and the multiplier I think it's times four a little higher makes it 20 amps but we're using about 28 29 amps so it's kind of compensates for it and keeps the voltage steady now again, the load came off. 
530 watts. Now the fan is running. Right? Now it dropped again to 28, 29 amps. I got two more panels here. I just bought them. Uh, this one is evergreen. 100 watts, 110 watts, and also this one here is 110 watt. It's 24 volts. This is both. You can convert it to 12 or 24. And this is gonna go up on the roof. Hopefully, they'll bring more wattage in so the batteries won't get strained. Now the other thing is I got a I got a oscilloscope. I wanted to know how to use it. If anybody out there knows how to use it, let me know. So I can connect it to the output of this and see what the sine wave look like on this pure sign inverter. If you let me know, I, I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions, let me know, so. Again, thank you for watching, and have a great weekend, guys. Bye.